Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Tom. Welcome back to another episode of Tony Campana My Play Mode. And I am sorry for not putting up a video yesterday, guys. Um, I, I'm i not feeling the greatest I have a really sore throat. This is actually the second take I've done of this, where I've explained myself again. Uh, and as well as that, I did join in in Dunbar Snack Bar's live stream last night. So if any of you are not subscribed to Dunbar Snack Bar, go check him out because he does live streams and... Uh, I plan to join in a few in the future if he's if he lets me. So we had a lot of fun last night. It was a long live stream over Thanksgiving. So yeah, that's, that's kind of my excuses. So you know, not feeling well, and I was busy doing live streams. And uh, I don't always post videos on Fridays as I work, but just to say sorry and to make up for it, I've gone out and I've made this video for you guys. So please, please forgive me because I am deeply sorry for not posting but what can you do these things happen and I'm gonna move on this is a game still against the Cincinnati Reds here and uh, like I said last time I do uh, I respect the Cincinnati Reds a lot so it was a good game to play against them again uh, but they are a good side so it was another tough fixture and we're already down three to nothing um, as the second inning begins so you know we've got to dig ourselves out of a hole as I missed that fastball whereas I should have been hitting that and that puts me in a 2-0 hole so the pitch is more than likely going to strike me out but he throws a ball and I try to bunt it and that's going to be the end of my at bat there that was a silly move to try and bunt but I tried it anyway and it backfired but now it's the third inning and we are down four to nothing it's really not looking good at all for us and uh, we have a lot of places to make up in this season if we want to well I don't think we're going to qualify this season for the World Series at all but uh, you know, there's other seasons, or if I move to another team, there's always there's always chances that it may one day happen. But for now, I'm at back at bat again, and we are down seven to one. We've managed to claw one run back, but they have also got you know another three. As the crowd cheers us on, screaming "Let's go Cubs!" because that is one thing you can always count on is the Chicago Cubs fans. And uh, I swing on that one, which was stupid. But you can always count, win or lose, the Cubs fans will always be there. The Cubs faithful which I like to consider myself part of one as I get hit by that pitch which is the only way I'm actually going to get on base really it seems as uh, I'm on a cold streak and I'm at Wrigley Field so it's even harder to see but it is at night so you can see a little bit more so who knows I'm on base but there is only two outs I'm going to try the juke move to get onto the second base it's working really well and I just make it in that's a stolen base for Tony advancing safely and that's putting a runner on second so I'm in now in scoring position to be brought home actually got lucky so I'm going to try and do the juke move to third it doesn't work so I'm going to be out here pretty much as long as it just runs it down I don't dive in in time and I'm caught out there so letting the side down really there Tony not actually helping the cutters at all because we have got one hell of a hole to get ourselves out of and it's just not working that time still 7-1 to one, though in the uh, fifth inning with one out for the Reds so hopefully we can shut them down pretty quick but that one's going into centre field and that's going to bring a runner home for the Reds. That makes it eight to one, and that's really not helping us at all. You know, if I could have caught that, he's still tagged up anyway. So it was always going to be eight to one, really, in that situation. But two outs now. Like I said, I don't can't actually see if that says eight or nine. Now I feel bad. My bad, guys. I can't see if that says eight or nine, but it's still eight or nine. That one looks like it's going over the wall, but unless Tony can rob a home run, he jumps and stops the home run. Nice wall catch there, 100 points, wow. Didn't realise they were worth that much. Not really keeping us in the game though, one run wouldn't have really made a difference. But still, every little helps, who knows, that could come back to bite the Reds, although I highly doubt it. They are such a good side as that one once again goes into centre field. I've got no chance of shutting anything down here, other than keeping the runner on first by throwing it to the shortstop. Once again, not looking good for us at all. Though we are halfway through the game now, sixth inning, two outs. Uh, we, we do have a runner on seconds, so and maybe it's a chance for Tony to get an RBI. Maybe start a rally, who knows? No, I doubt with two outs. We're actually going to be starting a rally. So for now, it'd just be nice to actually get Tony an RBI at the end of the day. Swing on that one, which I probably shouldn't have because it was going wide. The runner actually does get home, but it's easily caught, and I'm out. So no RBI for Tony. Nearly made it to second, though, so my speed's getting a bit better. Although it was in the air for a while. Back at bat, though. Another chance, maybe, but this time there's only a runner on first, so who knows? And that pretty much, I'm pretty sure that does say nine now. Yeah, I do believe that's nine, so nine to one, so there's an eight run difference to build up. I actually let that one go for a ball, 
plate discipline, actually holding out there, doesn't always do that. Tend to have a few issues when it comes to plate discipline. I just like to swing at everything and hope for the best. Letting that one go as well. Really good eye at the moment. I don't normally do this. Maybe this could uh, result in another walk. Maybe push the runners round. Ball three. This is looking so good for Tony. Maybe now the uh, the pitch has got to throw one down the middle of the down the middle of the strike zone, but he doesn't. I let that one go, and that's a walk for Tony. Now runners on first and second. Though there is two outs. That's a bit more worrying than anything. So maybe the last chance to start a rally. I'm going to try and uh, do the Duke move to try and force the pitcher to throw the ball to the second baseman and throw it incorrectly to force an error so that he can probably get round to third, round to home and I can advance the second. doesn't always work and um, there's no point in me trying it over and over because if it doesn't work after a few times it's not going to work and it's just going to make the video extra long which is probably what you guys don't want and uh, I don't want either because my connection is rubbish and I can't upload long videos. So one and one now, one ball, one strike, still two outs obviously otherwise the inning would be over if there was any more I uh, don't know why I ended up saying that strike two though not looking good at all it looks like we're gonna have to go um, and make a comeback in the ninth inning which I seriously doubt trying to force an error again not happening good throw by the pitcher back to his second baseman keeping him uh, keeping the runners close as they say though I wish they weren't I wish they were getting us round and I could get a nice run pitcher throwing a ball though Ooh. Pressure on the pitch now because if he doesn't throw a strike, it's going to go to the pitcher's count, a full count, and this could uh, this could really change the game. Well, this game's coming to an end now, guys. So I'm going to say thanks very much for watching as he gets struck out. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already, like and share this, and I will see you in the next episode. And sorry for not posting yesterday. I love you all, guys. See you later.